Hello and welcome to a little bit of nutrition chat. So um, often people think this is a really simple conversation and it would only take a minute or two, but in fact there's so much to it. So this is only a little starter and I'm going to film these videos in little bite-sized pieces because there is so much to it and it can get a little bit mind numbing to be honest as well. So it's simple but it's not easy. And what I mean by that is uh, what we need to know is quite um, simple to put into action once we have that knowledge and knowledge is power. Um, doesn't mean it's easy to change habits that have been the habit of a lifetime. But what we do want to do is to stay away from a yo-yo diet culture. So if you're on a fat loss journey, we want to stay away from yo-yoing. So anything that we think worked previously, but it's not working for you now, it actually hasn't worked. So anything could work. I could eat three donuts a day and lose weight if that was my ultimate goal. Um, it's not sustainable. It's not going to make me feel good. It's not something that I would continue to do for the rest of my life and I would probably regain the weight. So it, it's yes, it might work in the short term, but it's not working in the long term. So we want to find a diet. And I say that as in diet just means what you eat every day. So you're not going on a diet. <laughs> um, we want to find a diet that works for you, where you feel full, satiated, happy. You don't give yourself a hard time about eating anything. You don't feel guilty about what you eat and that your body responds very well to. So you feel good, energetic, strong, happy. Okay, so it can take a while if you've not been used to that dynamic, eating that way to support and fuel your lifestyle, but that's what we're going to do and it's going to be sustainable and joyful. All right, so we'll start just with some snack time chat. Um, so, and it's my snacks that inspired this actually. So sometimes we can get a wee bit snacky, we just need a little something and sometimes you might even get like a little bit, oh, I need, I need a little bit of sugar. Um, so there's fructose and glucose um fructose in low concentrations is fine and that is in your fruits um fructose is also in those um more processed foods like your cakes and your chocolates and things like that that's very high concentration so that's what we want to limit a little bit more um and if you feel like you've got a little bit of an addiction to fructose which most people do so again we are in an environment where we are surrounded by this food now but our carnal brains haven't really caught up that our evol evolution is slow in terms of how fast paced we are at developing things now so our brains still think that we are in that hunter gather gatherer phase where we could starve at any moment so the minute it sees sugar we think we have to consume that we have to, the minute it gets a taste of it, we have to consume it, have to consume it. So of course, you're probably a bit addicted to sugar. And the more that you eat it, the more you're going to feel like you need to eat it. And I'm not going to tell you you're not allowed to eat it. Let's just find a nice, simple way of controlling that a little bit more. So um, you have fructose in your fruit, but in low concentrations. Dried fruit is different. It has been processed at some quite high concentrations. Dried fruit's not great. It does have all of that good stuff in it, all of the vitamins that we need, all of the things that make us feel good. But because of that drying process, the fructose is actually in a really high concentration in dried fruit. So we try and keep that minimal. They're not actually essential at all. Best to just con consume fruit as it comes, to be honest. Um, but it's not to say to be scared of that kind of fruit either if you're having a loaf and it's got raisins in it things like that who cares it's fine and um, but just be mindful of that is is good so our fruit is nice low fructose but if we feel like we need it we need a little bit of sugar this is a great way to go about it that's not to say that you can't have this kind of food so it, you might all think I'm bonkers but I absolutely love these marshmallow things so it's like a raspberry marshmallow covered in dark chocolate so it sounds like it's probably not the worst thing in the world but I, I love it however I know and calories wise so lots of personal trainers online you'll get lots of these people and just a wee caveat with this do be careful who you follow followers don't mean that they are giving out wonderful information it means they've got charisma it doesn't mean that they're totally on it with things. So I hear a lot of calories in versus calories out. That's all that matters. And in some respects, 
they are correct when it comes to fat loss. It is about calories in, calories out. And there's the same amount of calories in this as there are in these. Obviously, these will make me feel better because they've got all of the goods in them, all of those vitamins that will make me feel better. But yes, in terms of fat loss, it would be exactly the same. However, and this is where it gets really nuanced. So I, without word of a lie, could rattle through six of them. Probably more. There is very little protein in it, very little fibre in it, if any at all. Instantly want more if I eat that. Instantly. Whereas... If I eat a banana and an apple, same calories within the two of these as that, I feel like it's done the job. It's done the job of a snack. I feel full. I could even eat another banana, whatever, and I'm full. But I'm not going to eat six bananas. <laughs> I'm particularly not going to eat six bananas and six apples. So it's filling me up. It's giving me the fiber. So if you feel like, well, for one, to be honest, best to pre-plan and just eat these anyway at snack times. Pre-plan and go, I need it. I'm going to need a snack then. Have these available and eat them. And if you still feel like this, you're probably not going to overconsume it. And yes, you might be thinking, well, I could have just ate that and had those calories, but now I've got all of this and that's even more. Yes, but the likelihood is in half an hour after eating that, you're going to eat something else. Whereas in half an hour eating that, probably not. All right, because you are full. It's done the job of the snack and you'll wait a little bit longer until your meal. Um, so that's mindful eating. I always, always, always have apples available because it's a really good source of sugars when I feel like I just need a little bit of something. Um, I don't buy all organic. However, I always buy organic apples and this is why. So I don't buy all organic because I don't have the money to buy all organic. Most people don't. Um, I would then need to sacrifice something else. However, apples are part of the dirty dozen, which means they absorb all of those nasties, you know, the herbicides, um, quite significantly. So they hold on to them, which you would then consume. So apples, I always buy organic. Also, they are much sweeter and crunchier and lovelier. They taste so much nicer. So I enjoy eating organic apples. Um, so life's too short for a crappy apple, is all I'm saying. <laughs> um, so if you're going to go organic for anything, make it an apple, make sure they're always available. I always have apples in work, in my car, at home, because I do always need food quite consistently. I feel like I just, um, uh, I, every couple of hours, I am going to need something to sustain my lifestyle. And these are just great snacks that have everything I need in them. And it's not to say that I'm not going to eat this kind of thing or popcorn or popcorn or anything else that I really enjoy. But it does mean that I'm not going to overeat these um, and that I'm going to feel really good and energetic because I'm eating something that my body actually needs as well. And I'm less likely to overeat the other things. So that is just the start of some nutrition chat. Lots more to say, um, but I'm sure you wouldn't want to watch an hour or two of me chatting about food. So if there's anything specific you want me to talk about, just let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll just run with what I'm going to run with um, and I hope that helps. All right, I shall see you next time. Enjoy your food and health journey.